Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My P.I. Dream. Today is Saturday, and uh, it's the last day of the work week. Uh, yesterday, I worked inside the comfort room inside here until 12.30 last night. Uh, I took advantage of the evening quiet hours, and I got almost, I got about 95% of the grouting done in this entire room here. All right, we'll go through that in just a little bit. Right now, I'm sitting here chatting uh, with Nasser this morning. I have the uh, mirror. It's going to go up in this area by the vanity. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can go ahead and drill the holes for the mounting, uh, the mounting support for that this morning. Well, let me go ahead and get today started. The guys are downstairs uh, working on the granite. Hopefully, we can get the granite installed here this morning. Uh, the fence stone cladding is being done and uh, we'll talk about some of the other things that's going to happen today uh, Saturday, so let's go ahead and get today started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway As you can hear the sounds of uh, construction going on in the background, a lot of things going on. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning here this morning in the Philippines. Uh, as you can see, they cleared the lots. They're, they're working on uh, this phase, doing all of the cleaning up of the lots. Uh, because remember, these are for sale. Well, some of them are for sale. One of our subscribers bought the one directly behind me here. Another one of my subscribers at the bottom of the hill right there bought that lot as well. And uh, the lots are now for sale. Remember, they were in moratorium. And that, you know what that means? That means, that means, please scratch my belly. That is that, <laughs> that is his motion. So anyway, this morning, like I said, I am working inside the, uh, the bath area right here. Uh, last night, I, I explained to you earlier, I worked in here until, oh, I worked in here until about 12.30 at night. I took advantage of, it was nice and cool and quiet, and I wanted to get this room done in preparation for uh, the granite that's going to be installed, hopefully today. Uh, my glass person, Kit Sanchez, is scheduled to come here today and do a measurement. Now something I wanted to talk with you about, uh, we were planning on putting a glass, a 10 millimeter thick glass enclosure door for this area going into the shower. Now I got to thinking, you know, if you put the glass inside here, uh, it, it sort of restricts some of the area that you have walking in. Because remember the door can only go on a 90 degree uh, opening right here. So if it opens this way, it's kind of blocks your path here, and if it opens inward on this side over here, uh, you have this area back here with the niches. It kind of restricts some of the area that you have here. I guess we could open it in this direction right here as well. Uh, I don't like the option. It just doesn't feel right opening in this direction. But since the shower head is so far back inside there, we're going to do a test. We're going to do a test. We're going to we're going to once I waterproof the the the. Uh, the, the tiled route on the floor down there on the mosaic, and uh, we're going to put the shower head on. We're going to let the water fall, and what we're going to do is we're going to see does any of the water splash out once we put. We're going to put the granite threshold here in the bottom, the elevated uh, granite threshold. I want to see is water is water go uh, will it go to the outside on this tile here? If not. We might not even put a door here. I want your opinion on that as well. You let me know what you think about that concept. Well, this morning I have this huge mirror in this box. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do it by myself. Uh, I will need help with mounting. I'll grab one of the workers downstairs and um, when it comes to mounting. But I'm going to measure where the anchors go inside the wall here, uh, get them installed and uh, try to mount this mirror in this area right here. Then once that gets done, 
I'm going to work on drilling the holes for the vessel sinks and for the fixtures in the back. Now tomorrow is Sunday. I don't know that I'm going to be doing any work up here. I might, I might not. It depends on uh, my motivation on a Sunday. I, I really need a day of rest. It's, it's been a pretty hectic week with construction, running back and forth and back and forth to the building supplies and uh, me doing all the grouting inside here. This was a pretty big job for grouting. I was surprised uh, how much uh, work this room took for me to do the grouting. It took me like about three days to do the grouting. Uh, it wouldn't have taken that long had I stayed on it, but remember I'm doing the, the, uh, the project management here as well, working with the guys on the other projects that are going on as well. So uh, let me go ahead and do the work here with the mirror. Let me see if I can get it installed. I'm really anxious to see what it looks like. So let me go ahead and get started with that. As you can see, it's almost the end of lunchtime here. Uh, I want to give you a quick overview on what I've been working on this morning inside the, uh, the washroom, the bathroom up on the second floor, as well as we'll do an update real quick on what the guys are doing, where they're at on the tiling, the stone cladding on the fence, as well as the granite, the guy that's working on the granite. But anyway, I kind of tore everything apart and it's semi kind of put back together. So in here, I'm working on the sink. Let me show you the sink and what I'm doing as far as cutting holes inside the granite. So this sink is not installed right here. This sink is just sitting here. I have it marked uh, with my little X marks, the spot where I'm gonna be drilling the hole in the granite for the, for the plumbing to go underneath it. And I also did the same thing for the, uh, the, the faucet fixture there as well. This one, I already cut the hole. You see the hole is already done. I used my little diamond blade hole cutter right there. And I have another one that I'm going to be cutting the hole here for the fixture. Now, I have to admit, uh, I, I, I made a mistake. I didn't think this out very well. When I designed the vanity here for the sinks and the faucet fixtures inside, uh, I assumed in my mind that the vessel sink was going to be here and directly behind it was going to be the, the water fixture. Uh, well, now what I found out is the, the depth, the depth of the granite right here is not deep enough to put the fixture uh, this fixture right here directly behind it. Now, what you probably could but it wouldn't it wouldn't look right. It'd be too close to the mirror and the wall. Uh, these aren't very deep. The granite's not very deep. So just like I did downstairs I'm putting them on a the corner like this right here. Now to do that and logically it would be on the outside. Not any, it's too cramped on the inside with this little raised part of the vanity here. <laughs> so on the outside to be able to do that Remember, we have about six cent centimeters or, or more. This is, pretty, this is a pretty thick wall. This is, well, it's a four inch concrete hollow block uh, with plaster coat on both sides. Uh, ideally, and this fixture would have been further out. What I had to do, I had to push it far enough in so that when I drill the hole through it, I can access it. And I think I'm gonna end up having to chip some of that concrete hollow block underneath. Remember, you won't see it, it will be uh, underneath the, the, the granite and behind the doors on there. Uh, but it's, it's sometimes it, you don't think these things out very well. I will make it work. I assure you I will make it work. But this is what I've been working in here. Now, another thing I didn't think out very well, when I picked out these vessel sinks here, the vessel sinks, I, I, I saw them, I saw the picture on AliExpress is where I ordered them from. And when I saw the picture, it was very reflective. And these are kind of reflective, uh, but it was almost like a mirror. And the outside of this, the way, and maybe it was a, uh, the way they did the photography on there, they did a great job. Th it, this side of here looked almost identical, like a mirror of 
the, the granite, and that's what attracted me so much. But I didn't think about it that all of our accessories that we're putting inside all of our bathrooms here, uh, the comfort rooms, they're all old rub bronze or antique. And I have, I have antique here, and I have this, this kind of silvery, mirrory kind of thing. This is, it, it doesn't really look Tuscan or Mediterranean so much. I don't know, maybe it'll be okay. I asked NASA and said, she said, it's okay. But a good thing about vessel sinks is you can replace them. Because remember down here, all you have is a, a bead of silicone inside there. And then at, at any point, you can replace them with something else that you like. Uh, mm, not really good planning on my part. Also, you can see here, the first piece of granite, the base uh, of the, the window frame here, uh, was installed while I was working up here. Uh, he will be back in just a few minutes, and he will put, put the sides and the top in. And uh, what I had him do, because it's easier to do the polishing uh, uh, and the adjustments on the granite outside, I had him take this outside edge out there with a small lip on here, more like what you see here. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit more rounded off because it's unfinished. This is unfinished right here. And what we'll do is we'll bring the polisher up for the one that's inside the window here. It'll be a little bit more difficult. We'll put some tape all around the tile so we don't damage the, the tile. And we'll do a little bit of the uh, adjustment with this window frame in place. Uh, but he did the other one outside, so he won't have to do that on the inside. Well, anyway, let's go downstairs real quick and take a look and see what is accomplished for the stonework on the, on the fence post. So as you can see, coming along nicely out here, uh, the, this section of the entranceway into uh, the walkway, the path going into the house. Uh, it's almost uh, it's almost all done here for this and he, he did the notch out for the doorbell that we have over here and the lights is go doing fine around the lights uh, so uh, progressing good everything is looking really nice I, I'm so glad that I chose uh, the gray this color of the stone works I think it works really nice and doesn't overpower it doesn't overpower the the colors of the house Well, we have some drops falling down right now. Hopefully it's, it will pass over real quick and it doesn't impede. We've had on and off rain today. Uh, well, anyway, I need to get back upstairs. I need to continue working on the vessel sinks and the fixtures up on the second floor. Well, let me give you a little tip of the day. If you don't, don't be intimidated by working with granite. Uh, remember I showed you a little bit about the polishing, uh, cutting with a, with a uh, grinder or with a, if you have a big enough uh, tile cutter, you can actually cut smaller sections of granite with that as well. Uh, and cutting holes is really not that difficult. The, th the main thing when you cut a hole in your granite using a diamond tip uh, saw hole cutter, make sure you start at a 45 degree angle. And I'll kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about. So now don't be intimidated about cutting a circle hole inside your granite. Just take a, a few precautions and a few uh, tips that we're going to go across today and then you'll be able to cut a nice clean hole inside your granite without doing damage to your surface itself. So first off you're going to start out, you're going to put some tape down and you're going to mark out a template where you want to cut. Now when we cut we are going to start out at about a 40-45 degree angle here and we're going to run the, run the drill a little bit slow and we're going to establish a little groove. As, the, as it starts going down just a little bit, what we're going to do is we are going to slowly move it over uh, to get it perpendicular to the plane of the granite. Uh, the reason you're doing that, if you were to start out like this and you try to drill right through like this, your blade is going to go like this and probably do some damage to your, your granite top. If you do it on the side, and you dig in at the 45 and then come over, you've established uh, your pattern going down through the granite. So let's also, as you're going through the granite with the drill, 
what you want to do is you want to keep putting water inside there. That will extend the life of your drill bit uh, and uh, make a nice clean cut inside your granite top. Well, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder these dark clouds and everything like that, but there is a storm of brewing here. Uh, the wind has picked up. Um, it, it rained real hard for a second and it stopped. Uh, but it is the end of the day. Oh, did you see? And that was the lightning in the background. I probably need to get inside the house. Uh, but it is a close of business for today. Uh, for the workers, but not for me. I still have just a little bit more work to do. And I'm going to go inside and I'm going to show you in just a minute. I have some guests coming over tonight. I have Jesse. Remember Jesse from the barbecue last week? Jesse and my friend, uh, my German friend, Henry. Remember him as well from previous episodes. They're coming over. Now, we were supposed to be sitting back here on the patio down here and enjoying a Saturday evening. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. If not, we'll retreat into the sunroom. Uh, but you can see it's really starting to get a little violent out here. Well, let me go ahead and show you on the inside uh, where we're at uh, for the work that was done today and some of the challenges that I not only have, but I'm continuing to have right now. Now let me tell you something, uh, make sure, this is a tip of the day, make sure that you pre-fit, if you have uh, your sink fixture and your faucet fixture, make sure you pre-fit them uh, before you have your workers do a slab or anything like that. Because remember, uh, they cut in the slab, in the concrete slab, they cut the hole way back here because we thought the, well, there was enough room in here for the, uh, the sink fixture to go back here in the sink in this area. Well, that's not the case, which is why we're putting it over here. Now, I am trying to use the core drill bit. You see the core drill bit over here? I'm trying to use that to go underneath, but I ran into another obstacle, and the obstacle is the rebar. This rebar inside here, uh, that holds the slab together and gives it uh, strength and support. Uh, but I hit it with the core drill bit. Now the core drill bit will cut through rebar, but it is a painful, a long, and I'm, I'm about halfway through it right now, and it's probably gonna destroy my core bit. I don't know. Uh, but, I, and I think this one over here, because I think I hit it also when I was using the regular drill bit, the regular masonry drill bit, after I went through the, the granite. So it's going to be a challenge. This is, I, it's not going to get done tonight. I will tell you that right now. So I will continue probably working a little bit of this tomorrow on Sunday uh, while the workers are on their day off. Uh, I do have a couple of shout outs. I got a couple of birthday shout outs for yesterday, uh, which was yesterday was September, October, this is October, right? Yeah, Oct I think it was October 5. Uh, so I'm gonna look at my notes and I wanna do a couple of shout outs before I close for today. And our first birthday recipient is Lito Estrella, who turned 57 yesterday on October 5th. And 57, that's a magic number for me. 57 is my favorite classic uh, American car, the 57 Chevy. And I believe there's a song where it says, born in the backseat of a 57 Chevy or something like that. So Lito, were you born in the backseat of a 57 Chevy? I kind of doubt it. But anyway, I want to wish you a happy birthday. And also yesterday on October 5th, Johnny Espatero, who is living in Milan, Italy right now. So anyway, to you, Johnny, happy birthday. 
Well, I'm gonna close from the front porch of the house right now. I still gotta go upstairs. I got some more drilling to do, and, and uh, then I gotta go get a shower, and I'm gonna be entertaining our guests in a, about an hour. So, if, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you've been enjoying all the videos uh, on the home project here, DIY kind of things, uh, building in the Philippines, and all the challenges that you might meet. But you know what? For every challenge there is out there, there's always a solution. And we will try to uh, explain some of the solutions and some of the challenges we have here at Villa Feliz. So I'm going to get up there right now uh, uh, before the wind starts blowing rain on me here. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed and you will be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed weekend.